Welcome back to the eSports Report presented by Xbox One, official console of MLG. Puckett and Benson here to discuss predictions. We've gone through the schedule, we've mm -hmm. talked about the matches, and every night we've been supplying our predictions of what we think is going to go down. Yesterday, I grew some enormous balls and uh, you, said it is going to be all crazy. rise. I Everyone don't know else, what you were thinking. very similar predictions when it came to the Elevate match. Same thing goes for Optic Gaming's matchup, but. You and uh, Maven there. Yeah. Putting some faith behind Team Caliber. What happened against uh, Optic Nation? It didn't end well, that, that's for sure. You know, Nation came out, looked strong. I kind of went out on a little bit of a limb there. I, I didn't think you or, or Pocket, oh sorry, you or Matt would, would go for TK. It was a little bit risky. That was the one game I thought was 50-50. So, you know, we're in a prediction race. You've got to try and risk a couple of things every now and then, especially now considering, you know, Matt with a two point lead over everyone else. Uh, if you'd have gone to now, though, you would have been sitting pretty at six points. So you only would have been one point off. You... I'm right there with you. So I thought about the whole, exactly. you know, you got to catch up to Matt. How are you going to do it? Well, you thought that was Denial went to game five against Team Caliber. They did not look great on day number one. They had no idea what to do with their SMGs. I thought if TJ keeps playing the way he does and Fair Rice enough. showcases the okay. natural chemistry they had on day one, they got a chance here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Didn't I, go I can so see, well. I can see why you, you went for that. Um, kind of regretting over TK, but that of course brings us to uh, this evening's predictions and who predicted what. Of course, uh, first game is going to be Phase versus Elevate. Across the board, everyone pretty sure this is going to be a Phase win. Yeah, I mean, you look at the new additions: Clayster and Attach playing alongside Zuma and Enable. This team has speed. This team has insane shots, and they have very solid search and destroy. I look over at Elevate and I didn't know what to expect. I don't think you're going to see Apathy going off every single night. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of leaned closer to FaZe here. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if this goes to a game five, but honestly, I think FaZe should be able to finish it 3-1. Yeah, I, I'm all for FaZe in that series. I can't see anything happen. And then we kind of get a little bit of uh, differencing opinions when it gets to Orbit versus Epsilon. Uh, it's kind of similar to yesterday's. Me and Maven going a different way than you and Matt. Curious to see who wins that one. Uh, you've gone Epsilon, as has Matt. They, uh, they got to get a win sometime. Do and, they, though? And I, and I think Royalty, he had his off games yesterday. Mm -hmm. You also saw some you know, flashes of brilliance, but overall pretty off. And I think against this Orbit squad, you're going to see very strong search and destroy from Orbit, but they have showed that they slay the crap out of you. And but hard how, point, how but scary you is don't that, score. But how scary is that? If they can fix that. No, they can't fix that against Remy. You, no one Remy can fix that against yesterday. Remy. Remy was going 15 and 34 and yesterday. royalty. Even if he's not killing, he is getting to the hard point. That is the one thing that you don't see from Orbit. I, I think, honestly, Orbit should win the SE. It's a win-win situation for me because I had a, a little bit of a side bet with Max, one of our, our writers for the show. Yes, he, you did. He, he said, you know, I think Orbit's going to win. I was like, no, I disagree. I think Epsilon's going to win. So Epsilon was my original pick, but then we had a bet on lunch on the side. So even if Orbit lose, I get a free lunch. So it, it really is win-win. And if you get the point, you owe him a lunch. I, yeah, but that's fine, because then I, I beat both you you and uh, Mr. X. So that, that's always good. I like your competitive spirit. Oh, absolutely. You know, you've got to reduce that gap. Uh, moving on, of course, 8 p.m., you have Envious versus Optic Nation. Maven's uh, going Nation. Maven, that's, uh, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. All right. That's not going to pay off, though. I mean, Envy going game five, Maven is, round uh, he, 11. He's out there today. I, I, I think maybe the sun in LA has got to his head a little bit. Might have frazzled him, but that's, yeah, I can't see anything other than Envy win. I mean, Optic Nation has started very strong. Don't get me wrong. Envy with a loss to Optic game. You have to bear that in mind. There are only losses to Optic. They've only played one game. I think they're going to come out today all guns blazing. And then, of course, the final match of the night, ISO versus Team Caliber. Will ISO be able to put up a positive record? Will TK be able to get their final win? We're all on the ISO train. Maven out on his own island once again. He is trying to play some serious catch up. I think he's going to be in a little bit of a pit after tonight. They're, they are some very bold, you know, Prediction. I think most likely to win tonight is ISO over TK. When when I look at that, uh, you could argue Phase Elevate. I think that one's a, a little closer. NBA and Optic Nation. But for me, TK after today will be 0 3 in the Pro League. I'm looking through the game types for TK Isolation. Hardpoint Retreat. Okay. Solar S and D. Uplink okay. Detroit. Hardpoint Bio Lab. Search and Destroy Skyrise. I think they'll probably win the Search and Destroy Solo. TK will. Yeah. Uh, I think if they're going to snag a respawn, 
maybe I think it's gonna be tough I think ISO very good retreat very good at, at bio lab it's gonna be very very hard for them to win that series I, I think honestly I still have that one in the back I think they're uh, you're gonna have to see an uplink win from TK yeah, if that's... they want to win this series once again guys here is your full rundown it's an accelerated schedule as soon as the first match finishes the second match will begin don't be surprised if you see those start times shift back a little <laughs> bit as we see more and more game fives I have to say I love season three so far it's been good the competition level has been absolutely stellar there's always been a fear that we'll see a few teams just run away at the get-go. Hasn't been the case yet. Yeah, and again, have to stress the importance. Only 22 games this season. It changes the dynamic of the, the season three completely. Every game even more important than it was previously. And you'll see a couple of teams in those must-win situations a little bit sooner. And those slow starts, as we highlighted on today's show, doesn't normally end well for teams. There's a one exception, which was TK. Everyone else not had the best success. Well, guys, go talk uh, some trash to Mr. X on Twitter. Tell him he's in the lead, but not for long. Ben it and was. I are coming behind him. One of us is going to take the lead eventually. There's <laughs> no way Matt wins it. It's, it's bound to happen. Matt has had the worst predictions of the year so and, far, and so there's that. Maven is definitely not going to finish anywhere in the top two. Uh, that is going to do it for our Pro League preview, though. When we come back from commercial break, we'll get right into the commentary as Maven joins me for all four matches tonight.